you the water distribution system in the city of Denmark is 75 years old and crumbling, similar to many rural water systems around the state. News 19's Lauren Thomas sat down with the mayor of Denmark to understand what steps are being taken to upgrade that system. Is the water safe here in Denmark? Yes, the water is safe. Mayor Gerald Wright of Denmark doesn't believe there is a problem with the water in the city. We've never distributed water that was unsafe for our citizens. He says the water has always been regulated by DHEC and that they approved the use of the chemical halo sand that has since made headlines for not being approved by the EPA. It was just not a chemical that EPA had uh, tested and put on the, on the approved list. So but, but the recommendation for its use came through the regulatory agency here in the state. And, you know, DHEC operate with people that are qualified and trained. So we, we had no reason to, to think they would recommend something that was not safe. And I still think it was safe. The six council members, all the staff that, that work in, in public works, and I all live in Denmark, and we use the city water. So it, it would be rather foolish if we were distributing water that was unsafe knowingly and it's water that we must use. In early 2018, there was a public outcry against the use of the chemical halo sand, and it's also at the center of two class action lawsuits against the city of Denmark. While the chemical is no longer in the drinking water in Denmark, citizens have lost trust in what's coming out of their faucets. And we don't trust the people who's telling us the water is safe to drink. So we spoke with Bruce Campbell, a hydrologist with the U.S. Geological Society. He gave us a better understanding of the groundwater quality around the state. Gr uh, groundwater mostly is, 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 is fairly clean. Some of it is, is pristine. <laughs> groundwater is the water that's found underground in wells and aquifers, while surface water is found in rivers and streams above ground. There's places, in, uh, there's another zone in South Carolina that has a lot of iron. Similar to what Denmark saw in the Cox Mill well. But now that the Cox Mill well has been taken offline, Denmark Public Works Director Charles Strugart says iron is not an issue in the three remaining wells. It's not. Okay. Uh, not that it won't, may, may start one day. Mm -hmm. You know, that's, that's something that's, that's tested for regularly, along with a lot of other parameters. And if it ever shows up, there may be that we have to add some treatment for something else. But right now, there's nothing else that's showing up. Currently, the water is being treated with chlorine gas, a common treatment for well water. But what the city is focusing on now is what the water goes through after it leaves the ground, the pipes. The city started this website, DenmarkWaterSupply.com, to talk about modernizing their deteriorating system and working towards a new goal. That includes replacing water mains, rehabilitating the water towers, and adding a new $500,000 elevated storage tank, as well as upgrading the now three remaining wells in the city. Mayor Gerald Wright says those upgrades to the system will cost around $2.3 million. We, we've gotten grant money, and uh, in some cases, uh, loans. That's thanks to the help of grant funding with the South Carolina Rural Water Association. We're making progress. We've never, we've never just stopped and uh, allow things to go in the wrong direction. We, we're making progress. In Denmark, Lauren Thomas, News 19, WLTX. Well, if you would like more information on the public water system in Denmark, as well as water quality reports for systems around the Midlands, simply head to our website, WLTX.com.